this is my brownie makeup look and I'm gonna show you how I did this. We're baking brownies in my live stream today, so let's do a brownie makeup look to accompany that. I'm gonna be taking some inspiration from these Shaohong Su girlies, as well as the actual brownies, obviously. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel! I do a lot of fun stuff on this page like beauty, lifestyle, travel, and even DIY. I have a lot of hobbies and I love expressing that on video. So lucky for you guys, I make a lot of videos for you. So if you do like what you see, make sure to please subscribe to the channel and also like this video. And if it's really helpful, save this on your watch later so you can do this makeup look yourself. As I said earlier, this makeup look is going to be featured in my live stream. And if you're watching this video, it probably already happened. I go live on TikTok every Sunday around 2 to 5 p.m. Pacific time. We do all sorts of fun stuff like hangout, crafts, beauty, we eat stuff, I have little fondue or hot pot parties with you guys. It's just loads of fun because we get to connect and have a relaxing Sunday together. So this week my followers wanted to do baking together, so that's why we're doing this brownie makeup look. I'll add a little vlog at the end of this video just to show you how the brownies went, and let's see if I pass or fail as a baker. These brownies are going to be interesting for sure because I already messed up like two times. And the brownies are done! <laughs> I already did my base makeup because that part is so boring, so let's just dive right in. So let's start with some lenses. I like to put them on afterwards, but I always end up messing up my makeup, so today we're going to put them on first. This is the Olens Ocean Velvet Green. I haven't tried this one out yet, but I just want to have a green contact to help make those browns like pop out. Oh, the color is actually very pretty. I think it's a mix between hazel and green. Ow. Starting with the eyes, I'm going to go in with this Dasic Muted Nuts palette. I think it just has all the right colors for this kind of look. Starting with what I would consider the flour and sugar of the look, I'm going to wash this base color all over my lid to set the tone. Now reaching into this peach color, I would definitely consider this the oil and butter of the recipe. It's going to be one of those blending shades that will hold the look together. Layering this color on the outer corner of my eyes and just above the crease. Get yourself a small packing brush and now we're going to reach into those browns. This nutmeg shade is going to be our vanilla. It's going to add a little flavor to the eye and help blend out the other colors. And I'm just packing on a small amount on the outer corner of my eyes. I'm packing on that color way more dramatically on the bottom of my eye because I have very narrow space on the top part portion of my eye. So I'm using this technique to balance out the proportions of my face. Now putting on the smallest, littlest, tiniest bit of contour right below my eyebrows to give a little bit more forehead dimension and then blending it out so it doesn't give raccoon. Even though raccoons are actually pretty cute. The brushes are getting more and more precise. Now I'm going in with this more precision brush and then I'm using these two dark shades. Okay, I'm going to say it once and that's it. Precision in this portion really matters. The two darkest brown shades are going to act like the chocolate, the cocoa, and basically the substance to the brownie makeup look. I'm putting just a smidge of this darker brown color on the outer corner of my eyelid, almost as if I was doing eyeliner. And on the bottom of my eye, I'm smoking out the color as much as I can for my eye shape. And if we pause and zoom in, you really can see how far I went down with that eyeshadow. So some of you know I am not a baker and the last time I baked muffins, they didn't even rise. So I thought it was really funny when baking was the choice of activity that my followers decided to pick. So it's already looking pretty good. Now I'm going to add more dimension in with some eyeliner and egg yourself. I always go in with a brown eyeliner first before I do a black gel liner. You can definitely dive into the black eyeliner first if you want to. I only really line the outer half of my eye. And then I drag the end with my pinky to make a sharp straight line. Don't forget underneath. And then just a little bit of that black eyeliner to add more contrast. So my mom is the opposite of me and she's a amazing at baking. So when I told her I was baking on my live, she was like, oh wait, you can just borrow all the things I have. And I was like, wow, thank you, because I didn't want to just buy everything and then just use it once, you know? But she did end up saying to me, if you mess up with my ingredients and my tools, then I'm going to smack you with them. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Where's this side of my mom? I'm ne She's the most kind-hearted lady. I've never seen her say this before. Baking. Baking is what gets her aggressive. So after eyeliner is laid on, it's so much easier to see what kind of shape you're trying to build. So this is when I go back in with the eyeshadow palette and I add extra little details. I'm taking this middle glitter topper and just putting that on my lid and a little bit more glitter. Kind of aiming for a little bit of shine. I feel like it's sort of giving Thai makeup, just a little bit. Now a really light shade to do egg yourself. Just placing a little bit of this below the center of my eye. And of course, I'm going to go in with a brown mascara. I feel like at this point, I'm just trying to get as much brown in there as possible. Don't forget the bottom lashes. I get asked about my bottom lashes a lot, and I actually use an electric curler to curl them. Also, I love how we collectively make this kind of face at some point in the makeup routine. Okay, I'm really loving the eye look I just did. I'm pretty proud of myself. Hopefully the brownies turn out as good as this makeup is turning out. Next, I'm going in with a matching blush palette. This is the Dasik 
Blending Mood Cheek in Muted Nuts. I was recently gifted these two palettes, so thank you so much to them. I'm really happy I can include this into my brownie makeup look because this is perfect for a brownie makeup look. So I've been seeing online a lot of people talking about different types of blush, such as highlighting blush, contour blush, and coloring blush. What I do like about these palettes that come with all the different types of blush is that they usually include one of each kind. Although this palette is more suitable for a lighter skin tone, this is clearly a highlighting blush, this is a contouring blush, and that's a coloring blush. And this one's kind of like a blending one. This is a pretty good investment if you don't want to hunt around for more than one type of blush. I'm going in with a small fluffy brush in this top color here. I'm going to pat that right under the eye right here. Now using an angled brush on this brownish color, I'm kind of going to do a sweep across. This is definitely going to be a blush and eye combo look. So those are going to be the featuring points of this look. And then that same fluffy brush, I'm going to take this coloring blush on the side here. It's kind of pinkish. I'm going to put that all over my nose and the center of my cheeks. I lost track of where we would be in a brownie making recipe, but I think this would definitely count as the baking portion. Now some other placements for this blush. Top of the lip, below the lip here, bit of that on the chin, little bit on the forehead. Now taking a contour and I'm gonna go into the lightest shade and try to add a little bit of that into my blush to make it a little more brown. Now taking a small little contour brush, I usually go in the middle shade. I'm just going in with a very simple and light nose contour, like I'm not trying to come out with a new nose or anything. And then a little concealer to clean up the look. Now I'm just going to quickly do my eyebrows. I'm going to do some light brown eyebrows just so it doesn't get distracting. And if you're wondering how I do my eyebrows, I do have a video posted on that. My lips are going to be very simple. I'm just going to line it with a little bit of nude liner. I always blur out this top part right here. And just a bit of nude lip gloss. This would definitely count as our fudgy center. Just look how yummy it looks. And to finish everything off, we're going to add freckles. I feel like this brow tint is really good for that. It's really good for making freckles. We're going a little bit out of order, but these would definitely be the chocolate chips. Also, just tap a little bit of the product onto your hand and then just dot it all over your face. And just press them in like this. I find this funny that I'm doing this because I actually have natural freckles, but I covered it up with makeup and now I'm adding them back on. Although my freckles are not this... Um, noticeable. Okay, now this is the final look. I thought this braided hair look would match, so what do you think? Now that you've seen the look, let's go bake some real brownies together. Okay, so it's the next morning and I did my hair differently because I thought maybe if I was baking brownies, it would get kind of dirty if my hair was down. So I'm just setting up for my live right now. I redid the makeup again because I did the makeup last night to film this video. Now I'm gonna have to set up for the baking. <laughs> I always have a lot of stuff to set up before my live. Like if there's more settings in the live than you think. Hello! How is everyone? We're baking brownies! I just wanted to show off my brownie makeup first. And we're also filming a small vlog. Ta-da! Say hi to the camera. Camera, say hi to the live stream. The oven is heated. The bell went off. If anyone else wants the recipe, I will also post the recipe in my YouTube video that you guys can watch afterwards. So we're midstream, and this is what it looks like. This is what the brownie look like. Do we have anything to say? Hi, YouTube. Hello, everyone. Hello, people of YouTube. From the people of TikTok. <laughs> Kaylee is brownie god. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be a brownie god, but these brownies are gonna be interesting for sure, because I already messed up like two times. Parchment paper. Thank goodness you guys are here with me because this would not turn out right. Learning with Kaylee. Actually, it's more like teaching Kaylee, not even learning. You guys seem to already know. <laughs> okay, oh, that's the brownies. I need that. This is re are ready for our five star Michelin. Ooh. Okay, it smells so good. It smells really good. A really fun choice. Thank you, whoever chose baking or choosing baking. Sprinkle some chocolate chips on top. Ooh, that's a good idea. These are the brownies and we're going to put them in the oven. Oh, I won't cover our friends. Okay, moment of truth. It's coming out. Ooh, it's kind of sizzling. It smells really good now. We're going to do this together. Oh. Oh, there's a little bit coming out. They look really taste. They look really taste. <laughs> They're really tasty. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Uh, I have fallen from the embarrassment. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know if I can recover from that. They're still kind of um, mushy. Okay, let's do like 
th three minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Back to the table we go. Ooh, it looks like more cakey, cakey cooked. It's time. Camera always eats first. And the brownies are done. They smell so good. And I didn't destroy them. That's the good part. What do we have to say? Oh, the brownies, the brownies are very taste. They are, they are very taste. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll try them out and see if they're any good. I'm surprised we did it. I knew you could do it. Thank you. I knew I could do it too. Maybe. No, I definitely no, I didn't know I could do it. Did you turn off the oven? No. I did not turn off the oven. Okay, let me go do that. Thank you so much for watching and if you do want more makeup tutorials and let me know in the comments, please make sure to subscribe and like the video if you like my content. And thank you to those who attended my live stream. All right, bye. YouTube. I am a nine star Michelin. <laughs> bye YouTube. Oh, uh, uh, I got better things to do with my time. Better things to do with my time. Do with my time.